Hey guys, Thermal here. Today we're going to be doing a PvP arena guide, not targeted at the elite player, just sort of a generalized overview. Shout out to Marius for the video suggestion. Also thanks to Simon for the add-on recommendation, Gladiator Losser. Downloaded this one today, basically just uh, lets you know when the enemy players cast a certain spell, such as Evasion from a Rogue, and then you know not to cast a name shot on the Rogue, otherwise he's going to avoid it. So jumping straight into the guide, number one I've got getting good at the game takes time so don't set unrealistic goals for yourself. Pro players have been playing for 10 plus years, they've learned every spell in the game, they've learned the different types of compositions, when to use their offensive and defensive cooldowns. Um, so don't go thinking you can get Gladiator in your first season of WoW Arena because you will be up against players that have been playing for much longer than you that have a much greater knowledge of the game than you have. Uh, this, If you set those unrealistic goals for yourself, you will also burn out. And uh, really, if you want to get good at the game, you need to be able to play for the long run. Uh, one of the tips I do have for people starting out is to record yourself because you will find that uh, when you're playing you're not able to see everything like there's a lot going on on the screen when you watch yourself back you'll start to see some of the things maybe you should have interrupted something and then you could have gotten a kill or maybe you know if you just used uh, the spell that was off cooldown that you didn't realize was off cooldown you could have won the game uh, so just that's something good for new players coming in Number two, I've got WoW PvP satisfaction. So to be able to play the game for the long run, you need to find why you play the game, like PvP. Basically, this comes down to two categories I've found, people who play competitively and then people who play for fun. So the, for people who play competitively, you know, you really want that challenge, you want to be pushed, you want to try and get your arena rating as high as possible, versing difficult teams, trying to get really good at communication, get really good at your class. Uh, for people who are playing for fun, um, you're just happy for that social aspect. You're just happy to, to kill people in the game because it's fun. Like, honestly, it just is. Um, you don't have to worry so much about the meta teams. You don't have to worry about the meta compositions. You don't really need to learn um, or put as much time into it as people who are playing competitively. But then I will say, make sure you play with people with the same mindset as you. Because if you put someone who plays for fun and someone who plays competitively together, they're going to get pissed off at each other because uh, One's playing too seriously and one's not playing too seriously enough. So number three, I've got find someone who can you can play with consistently. So you watch any professional sport, whether that be NBA, NFL or soccer, and it takes time to build synergy. It's the same in arena. So over time, you'll find that after playing with someone for long enough, you'll know what their class is doing pretty much at all times, even though they're not communicating what they're doing to you. And um, that's really gonna help you grow your rating is just, building that synergy, building that strategy, going into games, knowing what your win condition is. Um, you're gonna find that you're able to climb much higher if you play with people regularly than switching from different players each week. Uh, number four is know your team counters and weaknesses. So sometimes you will play a perfect game and still lose. And there are teams uh, that are specific counters to other teams. So take, um, Jungle Cleave is a direct counter to Rogue Mage Priest, for example. And sometimes um, it's important not to get discouraged if you keep versing your counter. But on the flip side, um, if there is an opportunity to counter the meta, then think about doing that because you will find easy rating because that team is popular and you keep versing that team and then you're going to you know you have a higher chance of winning you may not win against the team you're countered because they've got better skill than you but you do have a better chance of winning the game so number five i've got have a game plan at the start but be willing to change mid game so this happens all the time you'll be versing a team have your kill target but um then you know an unexpected trinkets pop uh, uh, maybe a pally bubble um, and then you have a kill opportunity unexpectedly and then that is when you need to communicate to your teammate for a hard switch and and get a kill that way number six i've got get pvp gear so versatility is the pvp stat and um it's very difficult to heal somebody who doesn't have pvp gear on so if you are a pve player who wants to play pvp just be willing to grind out that um, pvp gear whether that be doing battlegrounds or just doing the weekly 
um, conquest cap and just build your PvP gear over time. That way you can just switch PvP gear when you're PvP or do PvE gear when you're playing PvE. Number seven, I've got watch pro players play arena. So every player will have a different play style. So pick and choose from uh, those pro players what you want to add into your game. Maybe that's certain macros, certain add-ons that they use. And you'll find that you'll sort of build almost this unique play style uh, for yourself of a, of a mixture of different players. And that really comes down to just, you know, the mastering your class. You've got to put in the time to, to do the extra research as well. You can't just expect to be good at the game by just playing and not learning about the game as well. And number eight is learn about your win condition. So let's take Rogue uh, Mage, for example. Their win condition is they've got very high damage, very high CC potential for, for chains. They can either go down either road. So they can chain together a, a CC on the healer and then get a kill on the DPS, or they can just put immense pressure on uh, with their DPS and get a kill by melting somebody. Uh, on the opposite sort of spectrum, we can look at Windwalker, Warrior, and this is just, uh, you know, they do have stuns, they've got interrupts, so they do have some CC potential, but really their strategy might be just to brawl the shit out of somebody until they die. And I, w I would recommend finding the playstyle that you enjoy playing and then finding a, a composition that works in, in with that team. So number nine, I've got learning about the diminishing return. So there are six categories. So that's incapacitate, disorient, fear, stun, silence, and root. And um, really when you form your team, you're trying to diversify um, the amount of CC potential you have. So for those who don't know, um, a diminishing return means if you cast the same spell uh, category, like fear, for example, twice it will be halved and then quartered and then the target will become immune and it takes 18 seconds to refresh that so um often i use gladius to sort of track this so you can see at the side when you use a certain spell it's going to track it and then um, you'll know when you can use your your spell again on them to avoid diminishing returns. Number 10, I've got communication is vital to do well in arena. So by communicating well, you can make sure your setups are cleaner and harder to stop. You can also reduce the chance of overlapping cooldowns and reduce the chance of fluke losses. So just make sure, you know, you tell your teammates uh, so that they know what cooldowns you have both defensively and offensively, uh, whether you're looking to execute a setup or whether you just need help, like you can call for appeal, for example. Uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching the video. If you found anything helpful, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more of my videos, be sure to subscribe. Till next time. See ya.